All right, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at my uh, Crossman 1377 air pistol. Uh, I've got a lot of mods that I've done to this thing. Uh, we'll start out here with the scope. This is a Simmons uh, six power air pistol scope. Got off of Pyramid Air, I believe. Um, this is pretty expensive, but it's a nice uh, scope, and I've got the high scope mounts for it. Um, and you can see that it's got screws on this side, and then I've alternated it with the screws on the other side. That way these lie flush and they don't get interfere with the uh, cocking uh, mechanism. And also the uh, high relief here allows more space to actually load the, the pellet because you have to load these manually every time. Gonna zoom in on that and check it out. Uh, I have done a lot of mods um, pretty much all over the pistol. I've got a little piece of felt here which helps to reduce the noise and vibration during the pumping process because the plastic just hits the the barrel or the pump tube creates a lot of noise and vibration so that felt helps to reduce that. I've got uh, a metal barrel band here and a detachable roll pin. That barrel band is very nice because it prevents the barrel from wobbling. For whatever reason, Crossman puts these really cheap plastic barrel bands on here and the barrel wobbles, it's not secure. So you pretty much this is a, a mod you need to do in order to increase the uh, accuracy. I think it costs about 45 bucks just for that one little metal piece. So that's pretty expensive. You can mod these out. Um, you can you can leave the stock one and just put like a little piece of electrical tape around the inside of the muzzle and then wedge it back in there and that'll help to fill in any of the excess space and secure it that way but still the metal barrel band or I'm sorry the plastic barrel band is, is pretty flimsy so it could end up breaking or just coming loose anyways so I recommend if you care about accuracy get you a metal barrel band first probably over anything else. Um, working our way down here we've got the steel breech comes with a plastic breech so I've upgraded to steel. I've got an extended bolt probe which is this part and that just allows the uh, pellet to be pushed a little further into the breech which gives you a little bit more power. I've modified the valve, I've angled the port and uh, hollowed out the valve a little to give myself a little more volume which is supposed to give you more uh, air pressure which will give you slightly more power not too much then I've added a cool little rubber knob I've taken like three different pieces of rubber and kind of fashioned them together to uh, add this knob which definitely makes cocking it a lot more pleasurable you know, this is just a hexagonal metal piece, the, the bolt. And when you cock that repeatedly, it just kind of wears on your finger. And I'm really into ergonomics. There's no reason that you should have metal on, on skin like that. It just, it doesn't feel good. So, add rubber wherever I can, um, which is kind of what I've done to the handle here. Uh, this handle is... There's two, two parts. There's this side and this side. This side I've actually taken an AR-15 handle, cut it in half. Um, I took the uh, quick steel, steel stick epoxy, molded it on the underside, pressed it on there so that this AR-15 handle will fit the same way as the stock handle does. And... Uh, then took uh, some fabric paint, which is basically just like rubber rubber paint. It's kind of like that uh, that rhino lining stuff. It just cut, coats everything in a layer of rubber. So I painted, covered the whole thing to, to 
uh, cover over the spots where the, the quick steel was showing. So it just looks all black. And why I did that, I, I uh, like these AR-15 handles. They give it a little more heft. It's a little bit thicker. I have big hands. I'm 6'4", so I have really big hands. So I need something thick to wrap my hand around. The, the little stock uh, handles, they're just, I mean, they're technically they're meant for kids. So when you have a grown adult with a large hand, you need something more to help fill out that handle. And this, I can't tell you how good this thing feels in the hand. It's just real snug and... You can see that just fits perfect. Um, I've also taken ranger bands, just sections of uh, inner tube from a bike tire. Cut those at probably about an inch wide. Wrap those around here. That gives it even more thickness, more grip. So added that as well. The trigger, I've used that quick steel stick which is just epoxy that you mold on there. It hardens in about five minutes. Take my Dremel tool, sand it out, cut it to the right shape. And that makes a nice little trigger shoe. If you can see that close up there. And that is definitely a nice mod because these stock triggers are very thin and this one's at least twice, three times the thickness, which gives a good amount of surface area on the inside of your finger. Um, then I've also done other mods to the trigger mechanism itself. I've polished the sear spring and hammer and shortened the hammer spring, put a 22 cal shell casing in there, polished that, and essentially all that does is just uh, creates less friction within the mechanism and less tension. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then that will give you uh, a lighter trigger pull. Now, because of some of the other mods that I've done, um, I've added. Uh, I think I just put a little extra piece of metal under the hammer spring here, which makes the hammer hit harder. Because when you do a valve mod, you're holding more air. So in order to dump the valve, you need a stronger hammer to hit the valve stem harder to release more air. So I have a stronger hammer in there, or I'm sorry, hammer spring, which means there's more tension on the sear mechanism. So I've had this to where this was just a hair trigger, but because it's got a stronger hammer releasing more air, the trigger isn't as uh, sensitive as it used to be. So it's still pretty good. It's, it's a very crisp, but you have to pull on it a little harder than some of my other triggers. It's still much better than the stock version because the stock, when I first got this gun and I, I cocked it and I tried to pull the trigger, I was so used to my other guns, which I have modified with lighter trigger pulls, that I thought this was actually broken because it, it didn't uh, discharge. But it was just because I was used to a lighter discharge, I wasn't pulling it hard enough. But that's how hard the hammer, the trigger pull is to where I thought it was like stuck, but I just had to really crank down on it and then it finally discharged. So, the, you know, the stock triggers on these Crossman pistols are just horrible. Fortunately, you can do these aftermarket mods and it makes everything better. Uh, as far as performance, the stock version is about, um, I want to say, 560, something like that, or 580. Um, I believe that's feet per second. I think it advertises it at about 600, but you know, they always say it's more powerful than it really is. But in the real world, using standard pellets like the Crossman hollow points, um, I think the stock is about 560. Um, with all the mods that I've done, I've chronied it, I've gotten it up to about 630 with 14 pumps, 635. 
That's, you know, that's pretty powerful for an air pistol, 635 feet per second. Um, so, you know, I think it's worth it to do those mods to get a little more power out of it. I have decided not to paint this one. I usually paint my air guns, but I kind of like the classic black. Everything on it is black except for the, uh, well, kind of matches here. It says Simmons in gold, and then it's got the brass uh, bolt probe. Um, but that's pretty much it for this air gun. I've got a nice little pistol uh, a holster for it, which is what I used for that was a uh, drill, like cordless drill holster that they sell at the hardware store. It's a lot bigger than a regular pistol holster because you need room for the uh, scope. So this fits in there nicely. I may do another video on, on that thing. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to check out my cool crossman pistol. I've got a few other ones on my channel. So if you're interested in air guns or air pistols or crossman mods, definitely check out my other videos. I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of other um, pistol styles on there that I've modded out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.